What's up, YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator. You guys, I'm back again for another live stream. This is going to be a quarantine self-care unboxing of various products. Some of these I've had for a minute. Some of these I, I just received. But yeah, you guys, I'm here because I wanted to go live and connect with you guys again. And of course, in true fashion, true live stream fashion, we have to do the lotion of the day while we wait for everyone to join. This is from The Body Shop. And yes, this is a Christmassy one. I'm trying to remember what the flavor is without looking. I want to call it like Christmas berry or something like that. Let's see what it's called. This is the, oh, Berry Bonbon Softening Body Butter. And I just opened this one up the other day. I actually, whoa, it looks like I really went in, but I really like using these at night on my feet and my legs. And Gator picked this one for me because I have a few of these and I was like, pick the lotion of the night. <sighs> and it does, you guys. It smells, it smells kind of like Christmas. It smells a little bit piney. Hi, Myra. It smells a little bit piney and kind of like raspberry meets cranberry. Hey, Cheryl in Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Yes, you guys, we've got to put on the lotion before we get started. It's so nice and thick. I love getting these before Christmas because they're super affordable from the body shop. Yes, Brian, tomorrow is Easter. Hey, Luna. But yeah, I like getting these lotions either on sale from the body shop. Hey, the squad pod. Hey, hola, hola. Layana. Hey, Layana. I'm doing good. Hey, Darlene. I'm doing good, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys happy that tomorrow is Easter? Are you guys feeling like it's not Easter? Are you feeling like tomorrow's going to be special? Or are you just kind of like, you know, not really feeling the holiday spirit at all? I'm just going to put together some fun little things for the kids. Nothing much this year. Um, my parents just delivered a little, a little something for them for tomorrow. So I'll be adding that to their baskets. Yes, blessed to be alive. Yes, we are all very, very, very lucky to be here, to be here on this live stream, to be able to chat. I mean, we, we have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, you guys. So let's look at some of these items. Now, this is the Do Fit Massage Gun. And yes, you guys, I still have my Shein stuff over here from yesterday. This is the Do Fit Massage Gun. And we have tried it out. I'll do an unboxing of that. This came off Amazon. This is the Philips Sonicare 4100 toothbrush. I know it's, it's kind of a random haul, you guys. Luna Shein is a clothing company. This is how you... You spell it, Shein. Yes, you guys, I have my can of green beans over here holding my paper down. Um, the Sonicare came off Walgreens. Actually, I was going to say Walgreens, um, Walgreens.com, but no, I actually bought this in the store, and I haven't opened it yet. I've had this for a while. And when I say a while, I mean like mm, probably three months or more. I got one for my husband and one for myself, and I haven't opened mine, and I think I'm ready to open it. I think I'm ready to open it and start using it. And then this you can find at Bed Bath & Beyond or on their website. This actually came directly from the company. We're going to be opening this. They say the Himalayan salt is very healing. And it has some really cool um, little salt sort of spheres in here, little salt balls that you can use for massage. And then we also have this, and I just kind of pulled the plastic down. Hey, hat, 3131. This is the Par 2 Fresh Air Purifier. And I'm sorry I don't have the box anymore, but they shipped it directly in the box. And you guys already know that got lysol down, and it is now in the recycle bin. So yeah, you guys, we're going to be unboxing and plugging these items in, those that needed to be plugged to be plugged in. Hopefully this comes charged already, but we're just going to be looking at some self-care items, some items that 
might be kind of fun for quarantine, if you need a massage, if you know your dentist's office is closed and you're like, I need something to clean my teeth a little bit better, you know, a little upgrade here. Maybe you have some Walgreens reward points to use, something for a massage and uh, anxiety, the lamp, the massage balls, and the air purifier. So yeah, I know it's like an eclectic variety of items, but these are all items I've been wanting to show. The Sonicare I bought with my own money. The Do Fit was sent to me. The Salt Skill lamp was sent to me. And the Par 2 air purifier was sent to me. However, this video is not sponsored. Yeah, you guys. So let's go ahead. What should we open first? I kind of feel like I want to open the massage gun for you guys first. Let's open this up. It really looks like, like a kid's toy, doesn't it? Darlene said she got a karaoke machine. What's your favorite song to sing on there, Darlene? I tried a uh, karaoke one time when I lived down in California and I thought, oh yeah, this is gonna be so easy. I tried to sing the song Respect. Oh my gosh, you guys, I failed so miserably. You think you know a song until you get up and you do karaoke and then you realize you didn't know that song at all. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I really like the little case that it comes in. A nice case. The case reminds me of a case that I got this little um, kind of like knockoff GoPro a few years ago off Walmart's website. And the case is very similar to that. Now things might be a little out of order because we have been using this. I wanted to use this before I recommended it. So the kids probably put things, well, it's not too bad out of, out of place. So here we go. This is what it looks like. It looks like a hair dryer. It looks like a hair dryer. We have all of these attachments all of these different attachments. Hey, Vera. And then let's see, do we have a current attachment on it? It's very substantial. My nose is itchy, you guys. Vera, we were just talking, well, you missed the lotion of the day which is this one. I always do that while we're waiting for more people to hop on. And then we were just kind of looking at some of the items that I'm going to unbox. But you guys, it's very heavy, very substantial, and it has the on-off switch on the bottom. And then you could put in different attachments. It's very substantial. Oh my gosh, you guys, my nose is so itchy. I hate spring allergies. Okay, let's see. Let's just go ahead and put this one in. It's really easy to use. Okay, and let me turn it on. I haven't charged it. It is wireless, as you guys see, but I don't know when the last time was that I charged it because the kids used it quite a bit. So let's turn it on. <laughs> and then there's different speeds, I think. Let's see. Hi, Michelle. Look at that baby go. Whoa, it looks so crazy, like in real person. I, I just see nothing but vibration, but when I look down on my phone, I see it actually moving back and forth. You guys, this is such a nice massager. It's really nice if you can have your kids give you a massage. It's a really, really great back massager, and then you can turn it down a notch. Oh, whoa, actually even higher. Wow, my hand is like, I see my hand jiggling. And then that's off. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then off. Okay, so we have four different options. And then again, here are all the different attachments. And the case is really, really nice. 
I don't really know which one's supposed to go where because, of course, my kids took it out. But I really like that. Uh-oh. Okay, Regita, this one's for you. Back massage coming your way. This is the real deal, you guys. Oh, no, I keep turning it on. <laughs> and then one thing that's very easy to forget is that the off button is down here. And it's nice that it's cordless. So that's the Do Fit Massage Gun. I just wanted to look in the little booklet really quick and just see which attachment was supposed to be for what, if it says. And again, this was off Amazon. Okay, here we go. This is the forked head, suitable for your spine. This one is suitable for your spine. And then we have the pointed head, which is suitable for body joints body joints, and then the round head, which is suitable for large muscle groups. And then we have the flat head, which is suitable for the entire body. Yeah, I really, really like it. Again, not sponsored, but do fit if you're watching. Thank you so much for sending this my way. This is a really, really nice quality piece really really nice you guys I love that it holds a charge a really long time I don't think I have even charged it since I got it and I've had this for probably like a month maybe longer than a month yeah you guys so really really happy about that and then what should we do next I think I want to go ahead and do this one this is the Himalayan salt lamp Let's back it up a little bit. The massage salt lamp. And I want to plug this one in for you guys. We'll plug it in once we get it out of the box. So it says place one or multiple lamps in high use area where people will enjoy the heated balls and warm glow of the lamp. So these actually warm up. Allow Allow the spheres one hour to warm. Keep away from water and high humidity. Okay. Packaged in the USA, sourced from Pakistan. It says that, let's read about Himalayan salt. Pure 250 million years old salt skill, Himalayan salt is harvested by, by hand where skilled harvesters and craftsmen and women work with the salt to create beautiful products. Okay, with over, okay, it says, nature's miracle mineral. With over 80 naturally occurring minerals, Himalayan crystal salt has dozens of healthful and beneficial uses, including gourmet eating, cooking, cooking salt, skin nourishing beauty products, soothing salt lamps, nourishing animal licks, and more. And then it says they guarantee it. If you're not 100% satisfied, they will make it right. So that is awesome. I really love companies that stand behind their products. And then it comes with a manual. A manual. I won't bore you guys with the manual, but they give a little foot acu acupuncture chart. And they recommend some essential oils for various massages. So I really love that this is like a multi-functional product. It's a lamp and it's it looks like it's gonna be beautiful, but it also is functional for like massages and self-care. And then they even included this little thing if you have a missing piece or need a replacement. Okay, you guys, let's take it out of the box. Ooh, and then what's this? I found a couple little things in the lid of the box. I think maybe it's, oh, it's the bulbs. The bulbs. How many do we have? Extra bulbs and fuses, I think. Okay, that's all from that. Oh, look at this, you guys. Those are so cool, and it's wrapped really, really nice. Hat 3131. I will do my very best once this video processes to come back 
and leave the link down below for the massager because I'm pretty sure I have a promo code. I'm thinking for maybe 15 or 20% off. I don't have a promo code for this though. I've been meaning, meaning to show this to you guys for a while now. Woo, this is a heavy, beautiful piece. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's really substantial. They wrapped it so well. Look at all the look at all the wrapping and all the packaging in there. You're welcome, hat. Ooh. Wow. And it is salt. You can kind of feel it on your fingers. Okay, so we have, I'll probably need to, to put the bulbs in. We have one, two. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at this, you guys. Okay, I only have one for the first batch. So. And you know what? I think that um, if you need a cold massage or if you have a bruise or a sore spot and something cold would feel good, these would work well for that too. Oh, wow. These are so beautiful. Look at this, you guys. The bulb is already in there. So they basically gave two extra. Oh, they wrote extra for you. So I don't know if that's supposed to come with it or maybe they just included it. Laura says she found another Body Ecology Coconut Hibiscus. Yay. I am so looking forward to going to Dollar Tree again one of these days. It's been, how long has it been, you guys? Uh, last time I went to Dollar Tree was probably the 26th. Yeah, that's probably the last time I went to Dollar Tree. So I am really looking forward to going to Dollar Tree, getting some essentials, maybe grabbing a couple self-care items for the shower. It would be amazing to find a couple more body ecology things. This is so beautiful, you guys. This is really heavy. It has a nice wooden base. I'm going to plug it in for you guys. And it has a little switch here. Ooh, yes. And the Nivea mousse, the shower mousse. I have really been wanting to try that. Okay, you guys, let me go plug this in. I brought my little power strip over here. Hopefully it's long enough. Ah, hopefully it's long enough. I have my paper here. I'm going to have to make it work. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hmm, I think I would have, let me, let me, hold on you guys. Let me do it around this. Put Egypt downstairs, honey. Noisy cat coming up, you guys. Okay, so here we go. I've never used a shower mousse before. Are you leaving me, Luna? Okay, Luna. <laughs> Luna's saying, oh, kitty. So let's put this in here and maybe at the end of the video, maybe we'll have, maybe we'll have a warm one. Does it say, did it say it comes with four? Let's see. I feel like I want one more to put right there. Bloop. One more. Okay. I think I got them all out. Pretty sure. Okay. So we'll set this over here a little bit. You know what, you guys? Let me turn off the photo light so you guys can see what it looks like. Ooh, so pretty. <gasps> look, I found it. Ah, oh, look at that. So beautiful. Mmm. I like that. Be careful that my cat doesn't lick that. Okay, I'll make sure. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Oh, just licking the, licking the lamp. No, I promise you guys, I won't let any kitties lick the lamp. That is so pretty. Yes, they definitely would melt down seeing that they're pure, pure salt. Ooh. Yes, you guys. Again, this is the Salt Skill. This is the brand with the heated massage stones. Let's see. I'm looking at the skew. It just says massage salt lamp. 
Himalayan salt lamp with heated massage stones. Yes. What do you think, you guys? Should we just keep it like this? Should I keep the photo lights off? And maybe you guys just want to have this in the background? A very ASMR. I don't know. When we turn on the air purifier, it might, like, totally ruin the vibe. You guys vote and let me know. Should we keep it chill and cozy? Chill and cozy? I wish, I really don't want to look at the cord though. Raise your hand if you're like, hate the look of cords. Like, can we hide the cord, please? <laughs> Hiding the cord. Chill and cozy. Yes. I really, really, really like it. We'll keep it chill and cozy, okay? Hey, Oscar. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Shorn. Brian says, yes, indeed. Now I just want to go light a bunch of candles. Okay, you guys. So we have that one. And I guess we'll just open this in the meanwhile. This is the Philips Sonicare. What model is this? This is the 4100. I've been using one of my toothbrush that I have right now for a long, long time. And I think I'm ready for an upgrade. I did have a dentist appointment this month. Nope, this doesn't smell at all. It's totally unscented. I did have a dentist appointment this month, but you guys know all the dentist offices are closed except for emergencies. Vera, this one wasn't that expensive. I think I got this one on sale at Walgreens, and I want to say it was 40-something mm, bucks. It wasn't that bad. It was 40-something bucks, and I used my Walgreens points to pay with it. Extended warranty offer. It says if you register it, you can get an additional six months of warranty. Six months of warranty. It comes with one handle, one charger, and one brush head. Okay. That's okay, Luna. I'm glad you're back. Oh, look. I saw the little light. Look, you guys. So maybe it has some charge. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is what it sounds like. Now, you guys, there are more expensive Sonicares where it will work via Bluetooth with your phone. So it'll tell you like how well you did brushing your teeth and how long you brushed your teeth. But I really didn't want that. I was like, I just want a toothbrush um, that will just brush my teeth. I didn't really need the technology to go with it. It says um, that the battery lasts for two weeks and it has a pressure sensor. So I guess the pressure sensor will go off if you're pressing too hard. And then it comes with the toothbrush head. Now these toothbrush heads in a place like Walgreens, if you buy the name brand, they're very expensive. They're probably like $30 for two or three um, toothbrush heads. But if you buy the Walgreens equivalent or the Walmart equivalent, then it will be much cheaper. So I also have this little guy here. This is the base. It's very, very small. And boop, there we go. Again, this is what it sounds like. Yeah. So yeah. That is the toothbrush. Now we have the air purifier to look at. Hey, Kayla, are you guys still okay with the chill vibe here? Or do you guys want me to turn my photo lights back on? Do you guys want bright? Or do you guys want to keep it with just the chill, comfy vibes? Let me know. Okay, I finally opened it. I'm good. Yes, Laura, let's brush our teeth in candlelight. You know, I like doing that sometimes. Sometimes I like brushing my teeth with the night light. You know, when you're going to bed late and you go into the bathroom and you just don't feel like blasting yourself and waking yourself up like maybe you're already relaxed. 
that's when I really like brushing my teeth with either the night light or with my phone light. Maybe I'm watching a video and the video is kind of playing and the light is really dim. Yeah, because sometimes I just feel like kind of overdone when I'm too tired. I just don't want a bunch of bright lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, your flat has uber-sensitive smoke detectors. Wow, Vera, no candles. You have to go for all the fakies, right? I mean, some, or something like this. Like, this is so pretty. I just love how that looks. What a background. The massage box and the... <laughs> Maybe we'll set something up cute during a future haul or something. Um, I actually have another one of these, you guys. My husband has one of these in our studio here at the house. He has one of these, and now we have a second one. And these, I can tell you guys, these are really, really nice. They do warm up really, really nice. They feel amazing for a massage, or if you have just, you know, whether someone's giving you a massage, or if you just have like a, a spot that's maybe sore from a workout. It's really nice for a self-massage too. And I'm happy that it came with the light in it already. Okay, so let's look at this air purifier. Uh, I should I should make a video of my cat and give it a voice. That would be so funny. Hey, Brat Cat. I used to love to do voices. I had a, a friend and I one time um, when we were kids, we used to like looking through magazines like Seventeen and Sassy and all those magazines. And whenever we would look at a page that was that was an ad, we would do voices for the models. Like, I just love doing voices. Okay, you guys, so this is the air purifier. And it says tear off the film. Okay, so tearing off the film. And I think this is going to be nice for Brat Cat in Egypt. Hi to you and your husband. How are you guys doing? I miss you coming on my late night Walmart live streams that I always had on Mondays. I miss shopping with you guys. I just, I know we all miss how things used to be and I really do. I miss that, but I am looking forward to going back to having those days again sometime in the future. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna plug this one in. I'm gonna plug in the air purifier. And again, this one came off of Amazon. Let's plug it in. I've never had an air purifier before. This is a small one. We have a small house, but this would also work well for, you know, a bedroom. A bedroom or a small room or a small area in your house. Hi, Egypt. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? <laughs> and of course, Milo is sleeping behind me, my tabby. The patriarch of the cats. Okay, so I have it plugged in. So it says one, two, three. Of course, I have the manual here. We can look at that in a minute. You guys see my reflection? E. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so here's the manual. Let's turn it on. I don't think there's anything I need to do. I'm looking around. I think I have all the pieces. <gasps> wow. It is so quiet. You guys hear that? I'm smelling it. It has a very, very, very light, nice electrical smell. Keenan, I turned it on. And we turn it on three. Okay, let's, we'll play around with all the buttons. Let's do, I guess I just push it again and it'll go to two. Okay, that turned it off.
light. Okay, I turned the light off. I'm probably gonna have to look at the manual. Don't know what that is. Filter. Oh, you just push this for speed. It's totally touch screen. All of these looked like buttons and that one didn't necessarily look like a button, but yeah. And here's three. And again, this is the Par2 air purifier off of Amazon. And it's not that tall, as you guys can see, it's not that big next to the lamp. I'll put it next to a water bottle so you guys can see the size in comparison. This is a pomegranate bottle, the 48 ounce size. Yeah, I like it. It's not loud at all. One is so quiet. Listen, you guys. Barely audible. Two. And three. Three's a little noisy, but that's as loud as it's gonna get. We'll turn it back down to one. I mean, one, when it's on one, it doesn't even sound like it's on at all. Okay, I wanna just look at the manual just a little bit, you guys. Installing the filters. Uh, <laughs> my husband tossed the box, but I think the filters are already in there. Installing the filters. So you basically turn it upside down and install the filter down below. I think my husband probably put it in. You're asking, does it have a warranty? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm just thumbing through this here really quick. Let's look at it. It says something about a night light too. Okay, press the power. Fan speed adjustment, one, two, or three. Night light, when the appliance is switched on, the night light will turn on. The night light? The light will be dimmer. Press it again and it will turn off. Are they just referring to these lights? Let's see. I don't know, you guys. I know, Laura. I should check to see if the filter's in. I'm gonna ask my husband if he put the filter in or not. Hopefully it's not out in the recycle box because he, he is um, the main one disinfecting all packages as they come to the house. So hopefully there's not a filter in the bottom of the box. Okay, so we have anion, anion mode. What the heck? Look you guys, I've never heard of this before. Anion, it says anion mode. When the appliance is switched on, the anion button, the appliance will reach, will release six millions of anions per second to make the air fresh. That is new to me. I have, I'll need to Google that. Filter replacement light. This is the filter replacement light. It'll come on. Ionizes maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then there's a memory function. The air purifier will remember its program settings when turned off. Where it says when turned off. O F F E D. <laughs> this includes the fan speed. The purifier will resume its settings when it's turned back on. And then it says, gives us directions on cleaning it and replacing the filter. Okay, I wanted to see if there's a warranty at all. Forcing the reset on the filter's lifetime. Okay. Guarantee. Here we go. The Par2 air purifier will provide a 24-month guarantee, which starts from the date 
of the original purchase and is valid for problems which were caused by the manufacturer. If you need any assistance, don't hesitate to contact our store and we will reply within 24 hours. Okay, blah, blah, blah. RGB tricolor lamp operation. What? Wait a second. What? I don't think I noticed that. After the machine is powered on, the RGB tricolor lamp defaults to a colorful loop gradient. How? I'm missing that somehow. Hopefully that applies to this one. A loop gradient. I want to see the gradient. Okay, still looking blue. I don't know, you guys. I don't see anything in regards to the light. I, I haven't seen anything change. Let me see, maybe I can find it here. When the appliance is switched on, the night light will turn on. Turn the lamp off. Okay, I'll turn the lamp off. Okay, so this is what we're working with and this is just natural light. I don't think it's changing at all. Okay, let's see here. We have, okay, the light will be dimmer. Okay, when the appliance is switched on, the night light will turn on. Press the button, the light button, and the light will be dimmer. Press it again and it will turn off. Press it once more, the light will turn on. Repeat the steps above to adjust its brightness or on and off. I don't know, you guys. Like, I don't get the light part. I don't get it. And I don't think there's any other buttons anywhere. Again, you guys, this is still on. This is on one. Are you leaving me, Vera? Bye, honey. Thank you for joining. Yeah, you guys, this was, okay, Keenan's saying, what if I press and hold the light button? Good idea, Keenan. Okay. What? There we go. Kanan, thank you. Oh, no one said bye to Luna. Bye, Luna. Okay, so you helped me. We turned off all the lights. What happens if I hold it? I think that's all mine's going to do. I know Laura's like, where's the light? I, I don't know, Laura. Holding. I'm not seeing it go through an array of any different changes. And I'm kind of obsessing at this point. But Keenan suggested doing this to make all of the lights go off. You're a genius, Keenan. Look at that. Yeah, you guys. Well, that was my haul. Again, we looked at the Do Fit massager, massager gun. The salts, what is it? Salt skill. The salt skill lamp, which I want to turn back on. The salt skill lamp, the PAR2 air filter, air purifier, sorry. Listen how quiet. It has a nice white noise frequency too. I could live with that. Do you guys like that? Listen. Yes, Vera, the lamp is a mood, big time. And we had the Philips Sonicare 41, 4100. Yes, you guys, you use a fan for white noise. I think some fans just sound so perfect. I really like white noise. We use our PlayStation for white noise sometimes too. But yeah, you guys, that was my quarantine self-care haul, all of these items are items that I plan on using, not necessarily saying I'm gonna use them every day. I mean, this one I will. Ooh, rain noises. I love rain noises too. And here pretty soon, I'm gonna share a channel. I'm actually thinking about doing a video and sharing with you guys some channels that I really, really love, some channels that I think will be super relaxing and super 
um, stress relieving for you guys. I kind of want to do a what to watch during quarantine, like list maybe 10 of my favorite channels here on YouTube, support some other channels. Um, there's so many good channels out there, you guys. So be sure if you guys are watching someone that you leave a comment, leave a like. If you're really enjoying what you see, subscribe and give that person a chance. Um, right now, more than ever, it's, it's a hard grind everywhere. Like I know so many people are out of work, but us YouTubers, we've taken a really, really big cut too. like the companies and the advertisers. They're, they're not paying barely anything. You guys, I haven't seen the CPM rate so low. Um, like I haven't seen it this low in a long, long time. So yeah, you guys definitely show your channels that you like. Um, big or small, some love. Maybe click on a playlist and let it play while you cook or clean or whatever. It really makes a difference. Us YouTubers, we're trying to keep the entertainment coming. And, you know, a lot of us, this is our way of um, making money and providing for our family. So if you guys can share our videos or let our playlist run, that would be amazing and that would really really help out during this time but yeah you guys i really had fun sharing all of these items with you guys i know it was super random but i just had a collection of items that i've been wanting to share for a while so i was like you know what let's do a live haul and it's okay if it's random you guys might see more randomness here on my channel i mean everyone is basically just changing up their content Brian says, do another ASMR. I actually have an ASMR idea for you guys. Now, Brian, when you say do another ASMR, do you mean another eating ASMR? Or like that time we tried mochi in the car? You were laughing at us so hard. Laura, what is ASMR? Laura, you got to look it up. Okay, but it's... ASMR is so many things. It's like white noise or the sounds of turning the pages in a book or the sounds of tapping or the sound of rain. It's the feeling that you get from listening or watching something that really calms you down. ASMR is such a huge category, but just type in in all caps ASMR here on YouTube and you will see a huge world of just so many different videos that are meant to soothe and relax and calm down stress and anxiety. It's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing genre of videos. I think you'll really like it, especially if you guys are trying to, um, you know, tr if you're trying to bring down your stress. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so, so much. Keenan, you like the sound of typing on a keyboard? I like that sound too. Brian says, yes, like eating mochi. Brian, I have only been shopping locally and I know my local stores don't have mochi. But yes, love a good white noise like a thunderstorm. Oh, thunderstorms are so good. So, so good. Tapping objects. <laughs> tapping objects. Vera saying, cooking videos, love a good vegetarian dish. And my birdie has been made Making, if you guys watch my stories, my birdie has been making a lot of, uh, we've just been calling them quarantine meals. She's been making hash browns and she just baked cookies and she's been cooking and baking up a storm. And she made, um, oh, she's just been, she's been doing so much in the kitchen, you guys. She's been cooking so much. But yeah, you guys, I will be happy to try out different content for you guys. Um... ASMR videos. I could take you guys on a hike with me. No talking. It could just be like, you know, walking sounds and walking on crunchy leaves because I do have property right here in my backyard. 
Keenan says, I'm missing the hidden clearance song. Keenan, did you see my video today? My Walmart video I put up, it was filmed from almost a month ago, but I did sing the hidden clearance song. Sound of eating, oh, eating Birdie's famous cheese hash browns. Yeah, that that's a good sound. I like crunchy ASMR sounds. I don't really like mushy ASMR sounds. What about you guys? Crunchy, mushy, what do you prefer? Now these, this isn't quite warm yet. I don't think it's been an hour yet. The, it really does take a while. Neither, Vera says crunchy. My son, he hates the sound of people eating. Emily says mushy, you like the mushy sounds? What about um, competitive eating or like Matt Stoney? Do you guys like eating channels too? Lately, I've been watching Matt Stoney and Badlands Chugs. Those have been my two favorites lately for extreme eating. Matt Stoney for the food, um, Badlands Chugs for the drinks. Chewing, what, Laura, chewing annoys you or it helps you? Darlene says crunchy. I love crunchy sounds. Better than eating alone in quarantine. Yes. Oh, Laura says the chewing gets her anxiety going. Yeah, there's certain sounds that bother, that bother me in that way too. And I love SAS ASMR. I love her channel so, so much. Now she gets a lot of exotic items, a lot of beautiful exotic fruits, crunchy sea grapes. She makes amazing spreads and everything is just exquisitely done. Hi, Memona. Hand dryers is another thing that sets it off. Hey, Santos. Laura, it, hey, the hand dryer in my Walmart that I haven't been to in a couple months would really set it off for you. It's a really horrible frequency, and they, it's been broken since last summer, and it's just like this most horrible, um, bad trigger sort of <laughs> sound. Every time I hear it, I'm thinking, are they ever going to fix that thing? Memuna! I know that's not really your name, Memuna. You told me your name before. I know it's not Memuna. What's your name? I'll give you a shout out. 24 viewers and 24 likes. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support on my channel lately. Do I like honeycomb? I like watching honeycomb ASMR. But me personally, um, I don't like all the wax for eating it. Like the ones that I've gotten, it's just been so much wax, you can't even really get the, the honey. Shisa, Shisa Khan. Shout out to Shisa Khan. Thank you, Keenan. Yay, now we're at 26. Yes, you guys. I'm really happy about this. It's still on, you guys. It is so quiet. And thank you to Keenan for showing me how to turn the lights off. All of the lights are off, but it is still on. I just held the light button. Yeah, you guys, I love hanging out with you guys. I love it so, so much. Tomorrow, I'm going to share with you guys another cart cam video. Again, that was filmed, filmed back on the 26th, which was the last time I went to Walmart. Another cart cam video. And I'm loving this lamp so much. Another cart cam video and maybe... Um, another grocery shopping video just in a local grocery store that I filmed on Monday. Unfortunately, when I went grocery shopping on Monday, the local store doesn't have that much. I mean, the town is small. The town is very small. So it's really hard to find, um, it's really hard to find the things that we really need. Laura says, go to Dollar Tree, please. Yes, Laura, next time I go to Aldi and Walmart, I will also be going to Dollar Tree. It will be one day out, and on that day, I will be going to Walmart, Dollar Tree, 
and Aldi. That's all I have on my list. Um, as long as I can find the things I need. You guys know how it is. Vera says, my Aldi is bare, but has toilet paper. Oh, it's bare. Aldi is crazy. I have not been to Aldi in so long, you guys, because I, I haven't been to the city that I haven't been to the city that I always filmed in for you guys since February. I've just been kind of going to other more local cities. Um, not really more local, but I've been going to other cities that have much smaller populations. Um, I think the the city that I used to film in for you guys has over 100 cases, a hundred, just a little over a hundred cases. And the town that I was filming the Dollar Tree videos um, for you guys in has, I think, maybe less than 20. And then the city that I'm probably going to film in next has, I think, 26 cases currently in the entire county. So I'm just thinking about, you know, trying to stay with smaller populations um, during this time. I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. I mean, who really knows? But I'm just trying to keep it smaller, you know. Emily says, could I go to Aldi, Dollar Tree, and Target? You know, Emily, the Target in the uh, city that I'm thinking about going to, yeah, a logistics exercise, it is. The city that I'm thinking about going to that has the Aldi, it does have a Target, but it doesn't have, I don't think it's a super Target. It's an older Target, so I don't think there will, there will be a reason for me to go there. Please stay away from the higher numbers, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go, like I said, the place I'm going to go to next is there 20, they have 26 cases for the entire county and it's two cities really close to each other. But I, I just looked at the health department report and it was like 26 cases. And I know like over the last few weeks, like a lot of my videos that I shared are older videos. And I know there's some people that come on and they just want to be super rude and then they don't even look at the timestamp that I have on the video and they just think that I'm actively going out but I'm not and I, I saw someone comment in um, I saw someone comment in another video you guys they called these people shopping police don't you guys love that the shopping police the people that come on your channel and they just think that you're in the stores every day and they're, you know, thinking that you don't have any common sense. I mean, just because I put out two videos a day does not mean I'm in the stores every day. I mean, Vera, I've even had people come on the channel and comment on videos from over six months ago where I, where I clearly in the title said, Aldi shopping the summer before quarantine or whatever. And people will come on to the channel. Bless you, Milo. People will come on to the channel and they'll just comment the rudest things because they think you're in the stores and the video is titled and time stamped like six months ago. People are just, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I think I saw you replying to someone that left a comment today. It's um, before all of this, there was never this much negativity, but I know people are um, people are scared right now. People are scared, afraid, and I think a lot of people take out their fear and their. Um, just everything that they don't have right now and everything they're going through, people feel like they can just take it out on strangers. They're like, okay, well, let me go to this person's channel and just drop all this hate and just have no regard for, no regard for the title of the video or how old the video is. Like I could put up something from 2018 and people will come down in the comments and say, shame on you. You don't know any, you don't, you don't love yourself or your family. You don't love your fellow person. You're so selfish. You're filming videos and you're touching everything. 
and uh, and the video would have been from like 2018. So it's like, what? Anyways, there's always gonna be people um, out there like that, but I, f I still feel like um, I'm trying to keep my channel as a helping channel, and I know the content has changed uh, somewhat because of the situation that we're all in and the fact that I'm not going out once a week anymore. So, and you know, I'm not focusing on a whole lot of clearance and I'm not focusing on the deals of the week so much anymore. And all of us that relied on going out in the public for content, it's, it's changed a lot. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Laura. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to the family, Laura. I'm so, so glad you're here. But yeah, you guys, I'm like super calm right now, thanks to the light and thanks to the air purifier. I keep wanting to call it a humidifier, but it's a, pur it's a purifier. I think the white noise has like really calmed me down. Hmm. Yeah. Marilyn's love you too. Marilyn. Um, now before I used to go out every Monday and film. Um, but now I'm not going out every Monday. And when I do go out. Now, let me say this, you guys, when I go out next time I go out, I have some thinner face masks. So I'm hoping that I could possibly talk a little bit. But the one that I, when I filmed that video for you guys in Family Dollar where I didn't do any talking and it was kind of like ASMR, unintentional ASMR, no talking, just the sound of the cart, the sounds of like crinkles, me picking up packages. Um, that was because I had on a very thick face mask that I made from a cloth baby diaper. It was so, so very thick. If you guys make one of those with some hair ties, I would suggest using those for short trips. Like if you're gonna go and do a really long, um, like stock up for like two weeks worth of groceries, I would suggest using a thinner material. Maybe use a thinner material and put in some sort of like vacuum filter or some sort of filter if you have one, but try for a thinner material. Yeah, I, yeah, it was. The baby diaper one that I was using, it was slipping when I was talking and it was just so thick. I was like, you know what, I need to breathe and I can't talk and breathe, so I chose breathing, but yeah. Thank you, Santos. Thank you for being here. Love you, Memuna. You got masks from the drugstore. Really? I haven't seen masks in any of my stores, but my stepmom made me two, and one of my aunts made me one. So I now have three masks, and then I have a couple bandana backup masks. Next time I go out, I will probably bring three to four masks because I like the idea of changing them throughout my day. Like go into a store, probably change my mask. You know, if I have to handle it, put on a new one and then just bring them home and wash them. I'll put them back in their Ziploc bag, bring them home, wash them. Brian's asking about the bath bomb from the other day. No, I haven't tried it yet. I want to do that in a video too. I want to do a trying out self-care um, items from Mr. Bubble and Halu in one of my next videos. Hopefully. Maybe another live stream. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I don't know if I really want to do it in the bathtub or not. I might just want to do it in... Um, like get some big bowls or dishes or mixing bowls and that way I could just sit right here and do it a little more easily But yeah, you guys that's it for me Vera in Austria they take this seriously <laughs> Praying for Amazon gods Yes, Tammy me too me too Tammy Laura says put on a bathing suit Well, put on a bathing suit and do a, a a bath bomb 
uh, a bath bomb tryout in the bathtub. <laughs> I got some new bathing suits in the mail, but I am nowhere close to wearing them. Birdie looks amazing in hers. That's going to be another video too, you guys. I have some bathing suits from Coopshe, C-U-P-S-H-E, Coopshe has really, really cute swimsuits as well as Shein. They have some really, really cute swimsuits. So if you guys are in the mood to just look at some swimsuits and think about um, somewhere down the line when we're able to be outside and be able to be in water and have fun, definitely check out their swimsuits. They have so many of them. There's a super cute, um, there's actually two really cute tie-dye swimsuits that Shein has, S-H-E-I-N. So cute. It's like a pastel, pastel, pastel um, tie-dye. Now, if I was over in the UK or in Canada, I could totally say that, couldn't I? Pastel. I totally said pastel. <laughs> But yeah, they have some really, really cute swimsuits. But hey, you guys, I love you so, so much. I'm going to get these items cleaned up and try to add some links to the description box in this video, which I haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm going to go. And who knows, maybe I'll get on again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Easter, Easter Sunday. I watched the Ultavid and I got five things, but it was 12 bucks. Did you? The five for five. Yeah, they do that five for five deal around Christmas, and those things are so cute. Did you get them off Ulta's website right, I mean, today, like recently? Because I didn't realize that they had those available still. But yeah, those items are pretty cute. They're You get a lot of product the lotions especially. I got Birdie a couple of those lotions and I thought, wow, this is an even bigger bottle than like a cute little purse one from Dollar Tree. Yeah, you guys, happy Easter to you guys too. Who knows, maybe I'll hop on tomorrow or maybe I'll save our next live stream for Monday, but I've been loving our lives and I want to just do lives forever. Lives are my favorite my favorite type of video ever. And I want to be in some of my lives here coming up pretty soon too. I have a foot massager coming in the mail sometime that also came off Amazon. So, you know, you guys, we probably will have more, um, more random self-care items here in the future. But yeah, you guys, I just want to keep coming on and connecting with you guys. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and hanging out. I just, more than anything, to me, it's not all about the stuff. It's about connecting with you guys. And, um, you know, I, I just love to help you guys. And I know that a lot of these hauls aren't necessarily helping you guys. I mean, even though I'm recommending things that I like or things that I'm going to try, but for the most part, my channel is a helping channel, and I know that's maybe taken a little bit of a shift due to the quarantine. Mamuna's like, stay. I'll be back for another one, though. Definitely Monday night. Definitely Monday night, because Monday night is tradition. Monday night is tradition, you guys, and we're not going to break tradition. We're not going to let... Um, we're not going to let the quarantine break our Monday night tradition of going live. We're always going to do Monday night. So even if you guys don't see me during the week for lives, we will always do Monday nights. Even though Monday nights used to be 1030 PM central time. Lately, you guys have been voting for like six o'clock, eight o'clock. It seems like mostly the six o'clocks have been winning. Uh, she's like, stay, 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 stay. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, it has been fun trying a couple different things. I have a lot of ideas. Um, some of you guys have been like, try, you know, share your little quick face mask, share. I mean, I want to share some channels I like. I just want to share. And it seems like I've been, I've been coming up with a lot of ideas lately. I did the screen record of what's on dollartree.com. I kind of want to do that with some other stores. I kind of want to do that with Walmart, like go on walmart.com or go on the app, screen record, see what's available. Like as far as a lot of the necessities that you guys may need, maybe look at like $5 and under clearance, $10 and under clearance, you know, try to 
have some fun looking at clearance again, even if we're not shopping. I mean, it's really fun to look. It's really fun to like, what's the word you guys? Window, window shop. I guess that's like, you know, my granny used to say back in the day, you know, back before malls, she said people would just, you know, walk past the stores and look in the windows and see what was on display. And that's what ultimately window shopping was. Hey, Tracy, back in the day, way back in the day, oh, you guys, my grandmother, one of my grandmothers, she was in her 20s during World War II, and she told me all about the times of what it was like and how the women held down the country because all the men were away at war. And that time period was about, what, five to six years. And she just used to tell me all about the different jobs she had and what it was like and the fact that um, they couldn't wear nylon stockings, that they would have to buy a little kit and it would be a pencil and they would draw the line up the center of their calf. Very vintage, you guys. I love, I love vintage. I really, really have a thing for vintage, and I have just a, a little kind of admiration towards th the way things used to be. And you know, those I've been selling vintage items for a long time on eBay, and I just kind of love the idea of having something that is going to go to someone that really loves it and wants to collect it and like you know it's not just like a regular item it's like this person sought out this item and they'll probably cherish it and it's kind of like a little sentimental more sentimental than say like I'm buying a toothbrush I'm buying this you know you have people that collect everything so I kind of have a thing for some vintage vintage clothing pieces and in various things like that. So yeah, vintage is fun. I miss thrift store shopping. I actually have a thrift store video for you guys. I have not edited it yet. I think I filmed it last summer. So you guys let me know if you wanna see it, if you like shopping at thrift stores too. But it is a 50 cent wallet and $2 handbag uh, trip to the thrift store. I look at 50 cent wallets and $2 handbags. It's a, um, it's a Salvation Army thrift store and it actually is closed down now. So it would just be for entertainment sake only. But I used to love looking at their items there. And one little story before I go, you guys. One time in that thrift store, I found a child's backpack that I purchased it was the brand Oshkosh. It was a backpack by Oshkosh. And it was, I want to say it was like white with red stripes, like the Oshkosh stripes. And someone bought it from me off eBay and they paid like, oh, I don't know you guys, it was like they probably paid $250 for it. And this was um, I verified this piece with Oshkosh, with the woman that had been working there for over 20 years, and she verified the date of this piece, and she said her daughter had that same backpack. And so it was a piece from the early 80s, and uh, someone bought it for it to be used in a movie. And I don't know if it was ever used in a movie or not. Um, and I don't remember what the movie was. I'd have to go back and look at my old emails. But yeah, it was going to be, uh, it was a story about a father and a daughter. And the daughter um, was going to school, you know, over the course of the movie, she was, you know, a student and going to school. And this was going to be her backpack for the school year. And it was a piece that they got for me. And it was really cool to know that it was going to be used in that way. So I don't know. Just a little, you know, a little fun thing, again, about vintage items. It's just, you know, when you buy vintage or collect vintage and sell it, it just seems like whoever it's going to, they're like so glad to have it. And I just, I really like that aspect of of selling to people that are like really going to cherish the item. Anyways, you guys, on that note, since story time is over, I'm going to go and I hope you guys have a great night. Please hit the like button. If you know of someone that would like to hang out with me or would like my channel, please, please, please feel free to share. 
if maybe it's a friend or family member and you just want to be on here with them when I go live and you want to like just kind of just you know like let's hang out on her channel while she goes live like I'm totally open to that and they are definitely welcome if they're friends and family of yours then they're welcome here and they're already family I'm getting the low power mode, low battery uh, notifications. So I better go, you guys. Anyways, I'm out of here, you guys. Thank you so, so much for checking out my self-care quarantine haul, and I'll see you guys in my next video.